So I'm in position. I've got an access to his neck here, but he pummels that hand in and he's starting to stop. Man, you can't just punch through his hand. Listen, if you can, I guess go for it, but I never can finish it like that. So I got a couple of options. It just depends on where his hand is right here in relation to his throat. If I can get over the top of his hand and peel it out, then I can make my adjustment right there. But I really need to get, watch out. I really need to get the heel of my hand down onto his neck right there. That's when I know I got the right spot. Like if it's still up here, then he's gonna be able to stay alive in there most likely. So he defends his hand. If I can get in here and peel it out, until I can get my hand in, then no problem. But usually that's really hard. So what I prefer to do is to go under it. So look, I just go here and then I lift that out and scoop it in. And now I'll make it, I'll move my body into a finishing position. So we're playing in here, he's got his hand in. If, his, if he's got his hand in, his elbow is out, then I'll just walk him up. But if he's got his hand in and I can't get under his elbow, then I go under his hand, like I just scoop it out and go right through it. And then I'm gonna position my body and finish the punch choke. And he's already, I heard him gurgling in there already. <laughs> Sorry about that little friend.